Hello and welcome to the Goldilocks Chair Company, where we're going to undertake the Baby Bear Chair Assembly, brought to you by Epic Rehab, where we want to recognize and develop the value in each of us. This is a progressive occupational demand work simulation. The Goldilocks Chair Company is a virtual business in Prescott, Arizona. It has four employees, a 600-person database and mailing list, and telephone messages that have been recorded 30 each day for two days. It manufactures three some assembly required doll chairs. At the Goldilocks Chair Company we have three different work simulations, each of which has several different levels of progressive occupational demand. There are 12 levels for the telephone message work simulation, 12 levels for the doll chair assembly work simulation, and seven levels for the mailing list maintenance work simulation. Different tasks can be combined to provide multitasking demand. For example, at the lowest end of the spectrum would be a combination of telephone messages one and the baby chair, which would be a 70 minute long experience. At a medium level, the telephone messages two and the mama chair would provide a 65 minute long experience, and at the high end of the demand spectrum, telephone messages three and the papa chair would provide a 60 minute experience. This video is a demonstration of the Goldilocks baby bear chair assembly process. Because this is a standardized task that will allow us to compare the client's performance to normative data, we need to begin the task by taking all of the parts out of the storage bag and placing them in a bucket in anticipation of placing all of the parts onto a parts mat before we begin the assembly process. Okay. To begin this task, you'll be timed laying all of the parts onto the parts mat. The time will begin when you remove the first part from the bucket and will end when all of the parts have been correctly placed on the parts mat. Okay? And then after everything has been correctly placed on the parts mat, we'll begin the assembly part of the task. Okay. The time begins now when I remove the first part from the bucket. And it doesn't matter what order you take the parts out from the bucket as long as they're placed correctly on the parts mat. Okay, and now we're ready for the assembly part of this task. Um, I'm going to be assembling a chair exactly like the one here from the parts that I've laid on the parts mat. Uh, I have a, a, an instruction manual as well as this labeled chair to guide me in assembling it. I'm going to be timed doing this as fast as I can, starting with step one. Insert four part one fittings into the ends of two A-tubes. My A-tubes. Okay. So we have part one fittings. like that. 
Now for step two. Insert four B tubes into the four part one fitting openings. Here's my four B tubes. You should now have two subassemblies like this. Now for step three. Attach four of the part two fittings to each of the four tube B pipes as shown below. The middle opening of the T should be perpendicular to the B tubes. My part two fittings. Now for step four, we're going to connect the two sub-assemblies by inserting one tube E into the two part two fittings, just like this. Now for step five, insert another tube E to the other part two fittings. You should have a sub-assembly that looks like this. Now for step six, we're going to take two of the tube C's and insert them in the part two fittings uh, above one of the tube E's. Now for step seven, we're going to take the last two part two fittings and connect them above the two C's. It's going to look like this. Now for step eight, we're going to insert the short section of tube D to the open part two fittings that are attached to tube E. Insert the long section of tube D into the part two fittings attached to tube C. Just like that. Same thing to the other side. step nine. We're going to insert the remaining C tubes into the open part two fittings, which are attached to tube D. Now for step 10, we're going to take the remaining part one fittings and attach them to the C tubes. And we're going to twist them so that the openings are facing each other. For step 11, our last step, we're going to take the last 2E and attach it to the part 1 fittings above 2C. Here's our chair.